What's up, ladies? What is up? I hope you are all having a fabulous day. It's your girl, Carissa, your favorite boss up, babe, life, health, and fitness coach, personal trainer, and, uh, and international speaker. I wanted to pop on today because um, yesterday I had like an awakening and I want to tell you about it. And it's a craving awakening, if you will. Now, I've always been someone who has been able to like withstand the chocolate cravings and the sugary sweets and all that kind of stuff. Okay. Um, but put a bowl of popcorn or open a bag of Cool Ranch Doritos next to me and Oh, that's that's where you'll get me, right? Um, it really, for me, it takes a lot of discipline to not put my hand into a Cool Ranch Dorito bag. And of course, popcorn galore. I could always smell, my son loves popcorn too. And when he used to live with me, um, he would make it at like midnight, right? Because he's up and he's streaming his video games. And I would wake up from the smell and automatically he knew to come in and give me a bite of popcorn. That's how much, y'all, I crave and I love saltier treats versus sugary ones. Now, today I want to talk about cravings because cravings actually are not bad. Cravings are a good thing. I know it's a complete reframe, but I am the queen of reframe and I absolutely love taking anything that could be quote unquote bad and, and seeing how I could make it a positive. Okay, so here we go. If you crave salties and sweets, um, especially more maybe at the end of the day, it could be a variety of things. But last night, I kid you not, I get home from the gym. It's my second workout of the day. I've been, I found like a new gym class because you guys all know, and if you don't, I was bullied a couple of weeks ago in a group environment by the one male who thought that he needed to say something that day. Uh, didn't get the best version of me um, because I, I normally lift in the gym, but uh, occasionally I love doing like group classes. It's always good to like keep things fresh and mix it up when you're trying to stay motivated uh, in the gym. Um, so um, I found a new group and I absolutely love her. She's a local gal her name's Dina and she owns fit vibes and they actually host online classes they stream live and they also of course have live groups like every single night so I've been kind of addicted to those group classes so in the morning I crush a either a cardio session or a strength training session and then at night I've been going and crushing a group class now it's kickboxing it's Zumba it's dance it's all kinds of things but what I love about it is it really like just tuckers me out, right? I don't even have to think. It's not my class. I don't have to run anything. I just have to show up and do the moves. Um, but anyways, I love, love that class. But after I got home, I had already eaten dinner prior to going, like a little something, something in my belly, knowing that I was going to have like a protein shake at the end of the day because I always have one like right before bed. Um, it helps me continue to keep my metabolism going. Um, but I get home and all of a sudden I pull out the like the gluten-free popcorn and I and I pull out the the salty gluten-free crackers and the hummus and the pickle jar and if I was young and my husband was home like maybe I would think oh am I pregnant but I'm not don't worry uh, but then it made me think I'm sitting there staring at a counter full of salty ass food Okay, like not all of it's bad for you. I mean, look at we're talking popcorn, we're talking hummus, uh, we're talking pickles. Those are pretty much like free, and I love pickles. But too much of one thing could also be a bad thing if you want to look at it that way. But instead of looking at it like, geez, Carissa, you're such a fatty, you know, like you're eating all this salty crap. Instead, I was like, what is wrong with me? And I know I'm not pregnant, so I can eliminate that. Um, the second thing would be maybe you're dehydrated. And, and then I was like, oh, it would make sense. I've been literally sweating um, morning and night, getting my workouts in. And then I've been training clients here locally um, outside at the track, and it's like 90 degrees. So I've been sweating so much. Now, you guys, I typically drink close to a gallon of water a day. But I just didn't, you know, like that's my norm. And I didn't even think about that maybe I am not getting enough water in. 
All right. So if you, I'm not talking on sweet cravings today, um, but I want you to look at your cravings as a sign. Something could be off in your body or in your life. So a couple of things besides dehydration that it could be for me would be dehydration, my electrolytes are imbalanced, stress, and I could be pre-PMSing. So all of those things. So you guys give yourself a break, right? Let the guilt trip go. If you're craving certain things, just take it as a sign from the universe, from your body, more importantly, that says, Carissa, do a quick check. How's your dehydration? How's your hormones? And how is your stress? And if I have to look at it, I've been tripling, like doubling my workouts because I have a fitness photo shoot in a couple days uh, for a magazine. Um, so uh, I've been doubling my workouts. Um, it's definitely coming up on that time of the month in like a week. And my stress level has been a little high, mainly because I have so much exciting new things that are gonna be premiering this fall. TV show. Um, so we looking out. But anyways, I, I've like heightened everything that I normally do. It's no wonder I am craving certain things at the end of the day. All right, ladies, that's all. I'm going to hop off. If you found today's video kind of fun and insightful, like let me know. Let me know you're even watching. Um, say, hey, girl, hey. I love those messages. And uh, let me know what was one thing that you're taking away from today's video. And if you crave certain things, whether it's chocolate, salty snacks, maybe you're not craving anything. Remember, that could be a sign too. Uh, your body holds so much wisdom, you guys. So if you're not listening to it, you're not doing yourself any good. Uh, it's our job to listen to our bodies when it's screaming for help. And yesterday, with a handful of popcorn and a scoop full of hummus and a crispy Velocic pickle, I was like, what is wrong with me? <laughs> All right, ladies, have a fabulous day. Enjoy your Thursday and definitely stay thriving, y'all.